far as we're going. Then it's far enough. I only remember Lee and Clementine. I'll probably remember bits, little bits of information as I go. Drugs. Give me some of that. Look! Duck, shut up, man. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. His dad's an idiot too. Fucking knew it. Come on. Of course, now they're all coming. Did they get bitten? I don't think so. Who are these guys? Oh! Oh, I think I remember some of this now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the girl. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. The boy? Girl and a boy? What is it? I, I have to pee. <laughs> I oh, come on. In a second. I bet you um, would. Oh, in a, a minute. Careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you Clearly you don't. Then you'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Fuck an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bit. Hell, he wasn't. No. We have to end this. I don't now. even know if he was bitten or not. I'm just. I did, I'm defending my people. Fuck this. One hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? Shut We've up, man. We've seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Hey, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Kick his ass. Fuck it. Kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. Jesus. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will. He's a big guy. The size of his fucking head. Now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking? Big about? Head Jones. He's bitten. That's how you turned. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, of course. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking kind out of for are. my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then there'll be three. And that he's boy, just he's just a boy. boy. I mean, even if he turns, he's small. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him, kid. No. I'm not gonna hit. I don't wanna. No. Just, just stop. Don't him. just touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Boom! 
Oh, Oh my god, Lee, you fucking fall over everything. Your fucking coordination is terrible. Oh. Get off me. Um. Tango down. You okay? Just great, thanks. Thank you. I guess. Uh, guys. I guess they heard the shot, right? Stay quiet. I gotta get shot. Fucking hell, that that big guy is really annoying me. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Dad! Ah! Ah! The fuck? Told, told him to calm down. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. Oh, look, everyone's all pally pal now. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you know your way around you town? Know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the cool. other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yo, Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. She's a reporter, then. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Fucking burn! <laughs> uh, how'd you, end up, how'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Uh, what are you working on? Messing around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Um nothing. Oh. Let's be the first place to look, I guess. 
There are no batteries in this thing. Really? What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. You still can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh, come on. You're a news reporter. And you don't... Oh, my God. Let's give... Give Duck the bar. It's not He's had a rough here. Oh, no, shit. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I should have given it to Clementine. Fuck! Oh, I should have given it to Clementine. It's all melted now. Yeah, I guess let's talk to them. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Uh, how's Duck? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. Yeah. How's she doing? She's... She's good, I think. She's good. I'm not gonna mention about her She's family. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. That's pretty true, actually. Are you, are you guys, guys alright? Right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Why are we doing? Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Should I tell them that this is their place? Don't know what they're gonna... Let's be honest, because... I don't know, these are... Hmm. Let's be honest. They, uh, own this place. They're... gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... Yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Does he know for sure, sure. that they're dead, though? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Uh, let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. I'm not gonna ignore. Oh, it was asking him to ignore. I only had one option there. Fuck it, I'm not giving them the How's it bar. Going? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bit in front of my people. <coughs> I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's <coughs> lives without some dick cutting you down. Funny though. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. That's his fault, come on. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't <laughs> mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids and families, yeah. I mean, f fuck that. He's being an asshole in front of, like, kids. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Hmm. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. 
It was a was a, it was a babysitter. Well, she's lucky to have you. Oh, she'd be nice to me now. Cool. Asks for apology for calling her a bitch, then calls him a dick. <laughs> Very true. Well. Nice. Okay. And we're back. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Is anyone here? Yeah, I wanna... Oh, were the parents here? Is that... anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry, we found an older couple in the office. Parents. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay. Nah, fuck that. I'm not giving you a, a bar. You are gonna get an energy bar. But here you go. Thank you. Of course. What's gonna take care of Clementine? Hey there. It's my responsibility Hi. now. Uh, anywhere, anywhere from Glenn? Room? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh... Can I get you anything? anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. Can I just give her I'll the other one I as well? I'll find something else for you. Here's, here's the battery. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Oh my god. Look at that thing. Go ahead. Do you just not have it switched on now, or...? Mm, nothing. I had to do this, flip it up, flip it around. She's got, yeah, she's got them the wrong way around. Oh my god. She had them in the wrong way around. What was that shit? Will it work now? There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Stop. Oh, for fuck's sake. God bless you all. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, Clementine's coming with me. Dragged, I guess. Picture. There's the family. Why find anything? Oh, I guess he doesn't want people to know. But I've already told Kenny. 
I thought of the family that owned the place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. Ooh. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there no who you shit. were, or that you were tied to this place? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. I'm, you seem I like an okay guy, any other options. and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I guess I'll just thank her. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Callie will remember you trusted her. Nice. So that might actually help in the future because she now she now knows or thinks that I trust her. Better get this door clear. Huh? Looks heavy. Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Um, things have been scary, huh? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the determination on her face. No. You don't have a family? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk to her about this. I don't want to blow her off by by saying let's just move this thing or by saying what the appearance do because I know she's eight but she's going to know if I'm def if I'm deflecting away from the question so at least if I go with B at least I'm saying to her let's not talk about that rather than just brushing it aside so let's actually just say that and randomly ask does she play any sports let's not talk about that do you play sports I play soccer but I don't really like it I'm not crazy about it either. I All like right, it. A little further. Move your fingers away from there. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. I didn't want to mention about let's killing someone. I don't know, I think that might scare her a little bit. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me mm. that? lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, okay, so she knows. I'm gonna have to be honest. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, 
I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> Same. <laughs>